Yo, 33K. Thank you, guys. I know 33K is a weird number to celebrate, but, you know, that's a third of the way there. From my ultimate goal of 100K. So I just gotta say, guys, this channel would not be possible if you guys didn't watch my videos. I'd probably stop. Actually, no, I probably would keep making videos, but my channel has grown pretty slow throughout the years. It only really started picking up because I started making content that was just for me. You know, before I was trying to copy other YouTubers, copying other people's styles, and I was just, I just wasn't being true to myself. So anyways, if you guys watched those first 100 videos or so that were very cringe, I just gotta say, thank you, man. I'm now able to attempt this as my career and do this full time without having to work some other nine to five job or going back to college. Before we get into the Q and A, just wanna give a quick update on the Essentials experience last weekend. Yo. It was fire. It was dope kicking with Jose, Alex Costa, Marcel Flores, How To Beast, and many other influencers. It was so cool to meet you guys. I, I had a tiny ass channel. I was the smallest person there. And at least 20 of you guys came up and said, what's up, man? That's, and that's just a feeling I just can't really explain. I don't know. It's just gratefulness, man. I don't know. Life has just been good so far. So let's just jump into these questions. 33K Q&A. Let's do it. All right, I got a ton of questions from you guys, so I'm gonna pick the best ones. So first question we got, what do you think about social media making people less social than being more social? So pretty deep question starting off. Yo, social media has ruined society, in my opinion. I don't know, that might be a little too harsh, but kids nowadays can't even go talk to a girl they like or they have a crush on, or even just strike up a conversation with someone that has like an interesting outfit or an interesting perspective. People can't even do that. They result to looking at their phones, looking like they're doing something instead of just talking to people. And this creates social anxiety. This creates a bunch of mental health issues that I don't wanna to get too political about, but I don't know, it's a serious issue, man. I try and use social media as least as I can. I turn off all my notifications. I try and put my phone away as much as I can. I mean, and you should too. Turn off all your notifications. YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of that. Even my channel. You don't have to turn on notifications for my channel. I'd appreciate if you guys did, but for your own sake, don't do that. Here's a problem. Kids nowadays can't even spend time by themselves. If they don't have their phone, they start to have a panic attack. And man, when I was a kid, I was going out in the backyard, riding my bike or in the front yard, skateboarding. That's like some shit kids would do back in the day. Now kids are on the iPads playing Roblox or whatever the hell these kids are playing nowadays. There's really nothing you can do besides the parents. Next question, I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go too deep into this. Who are your top three music artists? It's a good question. Number one, Kanye West, R.L. Grime as well. And then, I don't know, I, I, also, I also like Drake. So there you go. Kanye West, R.L. Grime, and Drake. What are essential shoes every guy should have in their collection? Vans. Do you feel like your style is still evolving or are you at the top of your craft? Everyone's style is always evolving. That just happens throughout our entire history. So definitely not at the top of my craft. I definitely probably will never be at the top of my craft. I would always want to be improving, but I like where my style is at right now. How can you make a first interaction to someone without being awkward and stay confident? If you're already not comfortable with talking to someone in person, you know, because you're on your phone so much, then it's gonna be awkward no matter what. And all, what you gotta do is just talk to more people. Warm up, talk to guys and girls, strangers. That's the only advice I can give. And then eventually you build the comfort with social interactions and the confidence to talk to anyone that you want. That's that's it. Otherwise, um, I don't know. Just don't be weird about it. <laughs> Johnny Ty merch coming soon. Probably not. I haven't thought about that. That's probably gonna be a project way later down the road. Have you done any martial arts before? Yes, I have. I've done a year of Kung Fu and then I tried to learn some boxing online, but you really gotta go to class for that. What is your favorite brand? I don't really have a favorite brand because I don't really shop for brands. But if I had to say a favorite, if you're talking about clothing brands, I don't have one. But if you're talking about just a brand in general, Coca-Cola, Nike, uh, Sony, um, Trojan. Tips for how to start my IG fashion page. Thanks, K. Okay, bye. Just learn the basics. Learn the basics of composition, Lightroom editing, or whatever editing software you use. With Instagram fashion, man, you gotta just not copy everyone else. That's what I did for my entire YouTube career starting off, and dude, it just doesn't get you anywhere. So figure out your own taste, figure out your own style, and then develop it over time, and you know, maybe you do have to copy it some people initially just so you can get the hang of it. Don't start a fashion page if you're not passionate about fashion. Passion, passion, fashion, bars right there. But if you're not passionate about it or if you're like just doing it because you want to get famous, nah, man, you're never going to make it. What inspires you? Well, initially it was trying to get away from the nine to five jobs, going back to college, finishing my engineering degree. That was what my inspiration was and what was motivating me to continue doing this. But after that essential meetup, and meeting at least 20 of you guys. Yo, it's like 
helping you guys become more confident, become more willing to try new things, being open-minded and developing as a person with your style and your personality. Yo, that's more fulfilling than anything in the world. Nothing can, nothing can pay for that. Even if I had a nine to five job like I did when I was in New York, I'd still be making videos, you know, just to help you guys out. Most embarrassing moment. Uh, if I had to pick a most embarrassing moment, it's probably the times where I cringe the most. And that's probably when I had anger issues back then or when I was trying to be so alpha back then um, because I watched a ton of these alpha videos. Worked in an environment where it was just a bunch of dudes trying to be alpha as much as they can. And those people were friends with RSD, you know, nothing wrong with them. I'm just not a fan of this alpha trend that people are trying to chase because um, it really just shows how insecure you are. If you're, if, I mean, that's how it was for me. I don't know about you guys, but when you're trying to be alpha all the time, you're really just overcompensating for something else, whether it just be, at least for me, it was my, my race, my ethnicity. Asian guys don't really get the best rap when it comes to dating. Yeah, that's what I was overcompensating for. And I don't really care about that stuff anymore. If you don't care about being alpha, if you don't care about trying to take up as much space, show your dominance, I think that's the true definition of an alpha. In my opinion, he doesn't really care. He looks out for others and he brings people up and not puts them down. How did I get into style? Well, to be honest, it was definitely the first games I played where you can customize the character. So definitely in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, the Skate series, GTA, any of those series where you have to customize a character, especially the Skate series, because I skated for a good seven years and skating was just my thing. The skater aesthetic was my thing. And then I transitioned to YouTube. You know, I came across Alpha M first and then eventually Richie Lee and Harrison Neville. Shout out to those guys. Video games was a start. Okay, next question. Why did you move to New Mexico? Well, I moved to New Mexico because I left my nine to five job and I was gonna do YouTube full time. So I decided to move back home where I'm from, New Mexico. It's a lot cheaper out here. And I just also wanted to switch it up, but I'll be back in New York hopefully next year. What other hobbies slash passions do you have besides fashion? Technology is one. And also it's kind of weird, but Eastern politics really gets me interested. And personal development, you know, photography, videography, that's already kind of incorporated into this, this fashion YouTube channel. Best white sneakers, white vans, white Air Force Ones, and the common projects Achilles Low if you can afford it. How much do you think teens should spend on clothes, shoes, and style? <sighs> that's a hard question to answer. It depends on how much money you're making. I'd say get a job first, one. And two, keep it as low as you can. Shop at vintage stores, shop at H&M, shop on Grailed, and just get your basics, essentials, and focus on the minimalistic, simple look so your outfits aren't crazy expensive, but they look really good. Try and keep it as low as possible and get a job. Where are you from, as in your ethnicity? Um, I am Chinese from Vietnam. It's kind of hard to explain. So I'm Cantonese, that's my true ethnicity, but I'm culturally Vietnamese. But Vietnamese culture is pretty much Chinese culture with a few minor differences. What are your favorite foods? Definitely pho, bong bao hue, wonton mein, wonton noodle soup, and burritos. The burritos here in New Mexico are flames. If you ever come to New Mexico, go to Blake's, go to Golden Pride, solid. If you could have any shoe in the world, which one would it be? Ooh. That's a really good question. I would definitely say probably the Nike Air Yeezy 2, just because it's so rare. And you know, that was the golden age of Kanye and it's a really well-designed sneaker. What's your favorite colorway in the Jordan 1s? The Union LAs and the bread ones. What do you like the most about streetwear? I definitely like that you can fully, truly express who you are as a person. And just because it's so unique, there's so many possibilities with streetwear. You know, e-boys, skater aesthetic, tech wear, vintage, grunge. There's just an endless amount of styles that you can incorporate with each other and help develop your own versus, you know, menswear. There's nothing wrong with menswear. I love menswear, but to me, a lot of it looks the same. The menswear look looks really, really good, especially if you're a muscular dude and you get things tailored and tapered to your body. It looks amazing. But for me, just for me, you know, I can't wear that every day because it doesn't really truly express who I am. You know, I buy shirts that I like, you know, I have this, uh, this Chicago shirt I picked up at Navy Pier in Chicago just because it's well designed, I like it. You know, you can't really wear this with a blazer, you know? So if I like it, I wear it. And most of the time it leans towards streetwear. Do you have a skincare routine? Yeah, I do. After I shower, I just put on lotion and moisturizer on my face. I'm good. When did you discover your style? I discovered my style recently when I stopped caring about these trends and copying other people. I was just doing what I liked, you know, wearing what I liked, not copying pieces because it would impress people. It's, it's hyped, you know, if I liked it, I cop it. If you had to wear one outfit for one month straight, what would it look like? Simple and minimalistic. Uh, definitely black denim, definitely white sneakers, and probably a colored top. Are you going to remake some of your tips and vids from the past and add tips based on experience? Most definitely. I have so many bad videos um, just because I was just so ignorant. You know, I thought I was a shit and I knew what I was doing. I really didn't. Menswear or streetwear? I kind of cover this. 
I like both, you know, I don't like placing limitations on myself. I wear fitted clothes, I wear a collared shirt. And when you understand both, you're able to cultivate your own opinions on a certain style, how an outfit should look. The people that appreciate fashion the most like all styles, just like the people that appreciate cars the most like all cars, muscle cars, imports, those are the true enthusiasts. What are ways you personally build up your confidence? Well, one, start working out. If you ain't working out, come on, man. We gotta have a conversation. Two, put yourself in uncomfortable situations. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. And three, get good at something. If you get good at something, you're gonna develop a true self-confidence and that spreads out to other areas of your life. Who's your favorite Marvel character? Well, as far as the MCU, Thor won me over and Spider-Man has just overall been my favorite hero of all time. Uh, Doctor Strange is pretty cool as well. Yeah, shout out to those three. How's your Cantonese? I don't even want to try because it's not that good. What kind of car do you drive and what would your dream car be? Ah, car, well, car I drive. I drive a 2003 Honda Civic, you know, EM2 gang, you know, manual transmission. If you can't drive stick, step your game up, bro. But as far as my dream car, that's a good question. It would definitely probably be the first generation NSX with the pop-up headlights. I don't know, man, those are just beautiful cars. Honda actually cared about making cars back then. Um, all aluminum frame, handled super well, had VTEC, come on, man. What's your go-to store for fitted tees? Essentials, man. I mean, this ain't no sponsored video or anything. I just, I actually do really like their product. Fits super well, they put a lot of work into it. I've purchased from them before they even sponsored my videos and still continue to, so. And especially if you work out, they will look perfect for you. Otherwise, if you're not about that, you wanna go a little cheaper, um, H&M makes some okay ones. Shout out, and Uniqlo, they make some really good ones as well. How to get away with debt and how to stop overspending on clothes but not by not sacrificing style. Well, one, you can't get away with debt, okay? Especially student loan debt. If you die, your student loan debt gets transferred to your children, man. You can, you can file for bankruptcy, you still owe student loans. So you can't avoid it. But credit cards, it's just bad to have bad credit anyways. So just pay that off. As far as uh, not sacrificing style, just stick to vintage stores. Stick to your basics and essentials. Focus on accessories, because accessories are what really make an outfit really look different. Your accessories like this, you know, a, a sling bag, rings, bracelets, necklaces, all that stuff. Get a job, stop spending money, stop hanging out with friends for a little bit. Focus on paying off your debt and educate yourself. Watch the Graham Stephan Show, smash the like button, you know, for him and I. Learn about the FICO scoring system. Just educate yourself in that realm and eventually you'll pay it off. Biggest pet peeves, uh, let's see. Cheaters, cheaters as in like, you know, I've, I've cheated on my test, but like cheaters as in like cheating on your partner. Fuck those guys, fuck those girls. Yeah, y'all can go to hell for that. Can't get behind anyone that cheats. People are so close-minded, man. Oh, I don't like repeating myself, man. When I film these videos, you don't know how many times I repeat myself. I get frustrated, I start cussing. What's New Mexico like? Is it worth visiting? Yes, if you watch Breaking Bad, that's exactly where I'm from. That's exactly what it's like. Beautiful scenery and nature, beautiful stars and sunsets. If you're a nature person, you should come out here. What have you been missing the most since moving out of New York City? Bro, I miss the energy, I miss the food. It's just good vibes out there, you know? There's a ton of people around, especially if you're extroverted, it's, it's definitely a place for you. I also miss Dumbo and Washington Square Park. Those are my favorite places in the world so far. Best Jordan model, definitely. The Jordan 1s, without a doubt. Jordan 3s, third place, third place. Jordan 11s, you know, Concords. All right, that looks like that was all the questions. That was a lot. This video is probably gonna be really long and I'm sorry, but um, you know, I just wanna thank you guys again, you know, for allowing me to do this as my career. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, getting to know me better. I know it's, uh, I don't really talk about myself that much because you know, it's a fashion channel. Yeah, once again, thanks guys for all the support, 33K. I'm about to hit 100K later down the road, you know, a third of the way there. And um, yeah, just grateful for you guys. So if you guys found this video helpful, I don't know if it was helpful or not, but hit the like button. Smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnytai. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free. No, no hate. And I'm out, bro. Peace. Okay, I need to stop the recording.